Welcome to the MBS Show, Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Tortera. For shame. Since you have but shame, you get a badge. For shame. Oh, wow. Uh, what, 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 what did I do? What did I do? I don't know. I never got this far, but shame. <laughs> so, randomly shaming people, eh? That's not cool. <laughs> well, I enjoy uh, it. <laughs> Oh, that's mean. Uh, there's chaos upon you then. <laughs> yes. Uh, but anywho, but anywho, in today's episode review, we are going to review uh, Pony Life Season 1, Episode 10, Badge of Shame and Discord's Peak. In Badge of Shame, Twilight Sparkle attempts to earn her Trail Trotter engineering badge by facing a foe unlike any other. A list of incomplete... Uh, sorry incomprehensible instructions and in discord speak the main six hike up a treacherous mountain uh, sorry uh, hike up the treacherous mountain volcano okay for a trail trotters badge and flutter try tries to get discord to join them so before we go in depth um first impressions are in order and Terra, what do you think Pretty much the same as I always say. Everything's happening too fast, and it's like, okay, so we got a little plot going, but all of a sudden it's like, oh, th- th- this is happening. We're like, whoa, okay, now this is happening, and it's like, whoa, wait, now this is happening. This is all happening so fast. Yeah, I- I'm looking at a clock here, and it's eleven minutes. <laughs> what the hell? I did have a good laugh though with uh, Apple Jackson. She uh, basically tend to break the fourth wall a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, she she's she's doing that now, yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. So uh that's overall or for Bej of Shame? Yeah, that's for all the above. Oh wow, okay. Uh, so anyway, as for me, this one was interesting. Uh, you would have thought that Twilight is good with instructions and whatnot and uh she knows what she's doing. Uh, I, I think the word would be she's competent but this one feels like she's not. There's a lot of questions I'm going to ask later on. And for Discord's peak, why is the shipping so strong? <laughs> like, uh, the, the shipping between Fluttershy and Discord is so strong. Like, it's it's magnetic. <laughs> I feel like this is something that Silver would like to talk about. I know. Because isn't oh, Fluttershy his favorite? Yeah, that is true, that is true. So, um, if you're wondering where is our uh, giant pigeon, uh, last week we mentioned that uh, uh, last week was his um, last appearance on the MBS show for a while. And yeah, it's just going to be me and Tara for a bit. I, I, know, uh, you're not, I know you're going to miss out on the witty banter and uh, hilarious hijink by Silver, but hey... Uh, he'll be on when he's available and free. Exactly. But for now, yeah. But but for now, you'll just get the both of us, and I'm sure we can pick up the slack where uh he left. Well, we can right? really hope so. <laughs> uh, so true, so true. But anywho, um, if you have not watched this episode, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And so, well, let's start off the episode with our hero, Twilight Sparkle, dragging a box to Sugar Cube Corner. You would have thought that she would leave it in her castle or something like that. But no, no, no. She she has to put it in Sugar Cube Corner. So anyway, while she's pushing along and dragging her box to Sugar Cube Corner, we see Pinkie Pie baking her last cupcakes because her oven is broke and she had so many good memories with that oven but twilight comes in and says yo pinky my is my corner ready because i i I got this box and i want to build it and here's the thing uh the only reason why she's going to build it because it's to earn a badge for engineering what are we still on this again? Because it, everybody's into the lie. Like, okay, okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to pause here. So, 
Terra, what do you think, man? Like, they're they're still going with the oh, we're earning badges for this thing that we can't enter. What? I mean, honestly, it's I almost, I completely forgot about the whole badge thing. Like, it's so forgettable, and you know, like we said, everything's happening so fast that it doesn't really give you the time to take things in or whatever, or you know, uh, really take it slow. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it's shell shot, this and that. And I'm like, wait, what? And all these badges. And then when the oven was destroyed, and actually, it is interesting to finally see Gummy have an expression. Because <laughs> oh, it, it they, was just they, a blank they ruined stare. That. Yeah, yeah, they ruined that. Because the attraction and the thing that made Gummy exciting and fun was his blank stare. Nobody really knows what he's thinking. Is he happy? Is he disappointed? Is he what? Like, he's just doing that blank stare. And that's funny enough. But you give him an expression like, okay, he's just another regular pet. Like, oh god. Yeah, exactly. But, um... uh, You kind of know where it was already going because as soon as Twilight comes in with the the box, I mean... when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's nice. She, 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 Twilight planned ahead of time. She got Fluttershy a new oven. I mean, Pinkie Pie. I mean, yeah, Pinkie Pie, sorry. No problem. Yeah, that's how I thought, too, because, um, like, Pinkie have t- might have told Twilight or told the gang that her oven was on the fritz, but uh, it's still going, so no problem. And then uh, Twilight probably made an order. I mean, it's that but no no it's just random like we got we don't even know what the box is oh boy but anyway um uh, you done with the thoughts i do have some later on but as for where we are now i got nothing all right yeah anyway i'm going to continue on so the girls open up the box and check out what's inside there's a few bunch of Lego pieces in there that are just messed up. Uh, Twilight opens up the manual and says, Oh my goodness, this manual is so long. But no problem, no problem. I am bookworm pony. I know what to do. Once she opens up the manual, it's so confusing and convoluted that it doesn't make sense. Like, wait, what? What, what is this? What, what, what is this? This is just random. Like, the manual for Gumpla would be much better than this. So, anywho, she decides that, okay, I am smart pawn and I can do this. Fluttershy gives her a pep talk and says that, no problem, Twilight. You, you don't really need to use the instructions. You can just do it on your own. Like, screw the instructions. Do your own thing. Do custom. And she got motivated and decides to pick on a assistant to help her. And the all the other girls are excited to be picked, but Twilight sees Pinkie Pie huddling up in a corner, feeling sad because her oven is broken. So she goes up to Pinkie Pie, telling her or asking her to be her assistant, and they do. Somehow, after building whatever they are building, they made an oven with the bells and whistles. What? <laughs> And it's done, and it's big, big goods. It's awesome, yay, much fun. And Twilight is somehow eating her sadness and sorrow away, I think. And with that, episode ends with Gummy somehow fixing the other oven and having burnt cupcakes. What? Okay, so uh, I guess that's an end for that part. What do you think, Tara? I mean... Uh, 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 yeah what do you think well like I said it was all over the place and you kind of knew it was going already because you see that Pinky's upset about the oven Twilight brings in a big box you know it's going to be an oven I mean yeah I do you do but that's assumptions but when we when she was oh man (sighs) maybe I'm playing devil's advocate but you don't really know what's inside the box. All you know was just pieces of stuff. But they telegraphed it so far away with a blaring spotlight. There's no 
way too ah uh, man i don't know i mean yeah i don't know i do enjoy the the comedy though from like i i enjoyed how applejack was in this one like i like how she broke the fourth wall and made that pun where pinkie pie is like oh twilight you have your own corn over there and applejack's like you can call this the sugar cube corner corner it's like ah i see, <laughs> I see what you did there and then true I know the one part that made me actually get a good chuckle out of. She didn't actually say it, but what she said was pretty much reference to it was at this moment she knew she uh, <laughs> effed up. Or you could just, yeah. I could just say the actual one and Sweetie Bot can come in. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> we don't need to put the poor deer in um, BC. But yeah, um, it, I, I guess it's entertaining that way, but I don't know, man. Like, I feel like certain aspects of the show just doesn't jive with me. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, it's always the same. Like, it's like, it, it's sad though, but it's always the same. It's like, yeah, it's short and simple. It's all over the place. And then, boom, we're done. That's true. That's true. I mean,. Uh, I'm looking at the oven that they made with the bells and whistles, and it it is it it, it is bothering me. The, the art style for the oven is, uh, uh, it looks like a kid drew it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But here's the thing: from what I understand, artists who draw this kind of thing take a lot of time doing something like this because they have to. Uh, dumb down or not really dumb down they have to go into the mindset of how a kid would draw things and you see what they're doing here I mean you you see what I mean like the lines are in a certain way where uh, the oven is a bit longer this dimension and it's, it looks all wrong but it feels like they did it on purpose and things like that takes more time and effort because they need to Untrain themselves. Yeah. But anywho, um, with that, let's move on to the next um, uh, segment. Yeah. So, in Discord speak, we see the girls in Sugar Cube Corner again. Um, planning up for a hike. And Pratishai says, oh, uh, let's go to Mount Volcano. Was it? Yeah, they call it Vol- I think they call it Mount Volcano. Yeah, so they're they're going. Fletcher wants to go up to the peak, and the rest of the girls says, "Okay, uh, sure. I, I I guess. I mean, if it's for a badge or something like that, yeah, we could indulge in your curiosity." And this got pops in, and I I this sorry this got pops in. And Fletisha invites Discord to join them on their track. The rest of the girls do not really want Discord to join because whenever he joins, things go bad. Uh, come on, Norman. You could have just said things go chaotic. <laughs> uh, missed opportunity, yes. <laughs> yeah, but yes, uh, things go chaotic. But Discord says, nah, nah, nah. And Fletisha is... It's sad because he really, she really wants Discord to join along. I mean, <laughs> looking at this, I can see the ship is strong with this one. It's really strong. And yeah, uh, Discord is drinking a bit of milkshake. And when Pinkie Pie asks, are you going to pay for that? He he does the whole, oh, look what's over there and disappears. <laughs> uh, boy, I'm going to pause here. So Tara, what do you think? Mm, can't really say much. I mean, it's just the sort of setup with uh, everyone being like, oh, what are we going to do today, guys? Oh, let's do this today. And then, oh, I come in and make the story more interesting, I guess. And mm, can't really say much. And then, you know, Applejack breaking the fourth wall when Rarity barfs up diamonds. And she's like, yeah, <laughs> stuff like this happens when Disco is always around. <laughs> Yeah, I, 
I don't know. I mean, I find it really fascinating that Fluttershy of all ponies want Discords to be around. Okay, not not really when you think about it. Uh, Fluttershy does enjoy Discord's company. But the way that they did it here was really blatant. Like, they're hitting you with a baseball bat saying that, Yo, look, this is Fluttershy and Discord. There are... Fluttershy is madly infatuated with Discord. Look, look, look. And, oh God, like, it's okay, I guess. I mean, I don't mind it. I, I, I do enjoy their ship, but give it a little bit of tech, ladies and gentlemen. But anywho, before I continue on, is that all, Terra? Mm, that's all I got so far. Alright, let's carry on. So anywho, uh, they trek up the mountain and whatnot. And the, the girls are enjoying their walk and whatnot. And just Fluttershy is just commenting that, oh, if Discord was around, things would be more fun and exciting. Uh, there's probably a bear would come and try to maul us, but nope, nope, nope. I mean, she, she is a few bit of nuts. But anywho, that's besides the point. They head up to the top of the, uh, what you might call this peak of the volcano, and they get to see the view of Shugukju Corner. And yay, it's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, them appreciating the view, suddenly Fluttershy goes ballistic and throws in a huge cupcake to erupt the volcano. While that's going on, we see this court at Shugukju Corner. Um... It, um, I won't say, I mean, uh, I think he's annoying, uh, being annoying to Spike who's trying to take an order for what he wants. But yeah, he's just really annoying. And suddenly, he disappears because it's Discord. So back at the volcano, uh, it seems that the whole place is erupting. And so this child just comes down saying something about a badge and whatnot. And this cut, on the other hand, while flying around town, notice that, hey, the volcano is erupting. That's not good. That's not good at all. So this is there. I, I should go and check things out. So, yay. Uh, when this court arrives, so this is very excited to see him there. She asks if she could kind of save them from the volcano and whatnot and this court says yes. Um this Fluttershy thanks this court and whatnot and somehow you, you get to see Fluttershy being all gaga goo goo gaga over Discord. Like hearts a flutter. Okay. But anywho, um, Discord says like, ah, oh, no, I, I'm a one-man pony and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. And Fluttershy tricks Discord into being, I'm not sure. He tricks her stuff, blah, blah, blah. And somehow Discord joins them to go back to town. And with that, episode ends. Yep. So, um, <clears throat> if that, yeah, Tara, what do you think? Well, I think the one thing Sue would mention is that Fluttershy literally attempted to murder her friends. It's, oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> as they're walking up to the peak of the mountain, she's like, ah, oh, things are so much better with Discord. Ah, he's shipping fuel and whatnot. And then they're all enjoying the view, and then all of a sudden, you see Fluttershy at the giant cupcake like, this will get Silver to come join us. <laughs> you, you mean Discord? That's what I said. I said Discord. <laughs> okay. Mm, yes. <laughs> what did I say? Did I, or did you, did it hear? Did you, yeah? Did it sound like I say something else? I know, man. It's probably my imagination. <laughs> it's late for me. It's late for me. I'm, I'm sleepy. Probably. <laughs> if we already know, maybe I did say something else by accident. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, it's like like you literally almost <sighs> attempted to murder your friends just to have someone else join you. And it's just brushed off with, hey, I made this thing up. So, yeah, you do your own thing now. I don't even think that Fluttershy did that just to get this court there. I, I think it's just her just being crazy. 
Who knows? Yeah. But overall, it was interesting. So, with that, the episode ends. And before we head to final thoughts, uh, yeah, final thoughts and whatnot, I, I think I'll just tell you guys at home who voices Discord. Because in the mainline pony show, Discord is voiced by John Delancey. Very popular actor, played Star Trek, he played Q, and uh, many other characters, or many other roles. But here in Pony Life, the actor who played Discord is Peter New. And Peter New is the voice for Big Mac, and, yeah. mo- and a lot more. So that was fascinating. Like, that was surprising for me. I know that when it fir- the episode first came out, a lot of people blew up about how Disco was voiced by John Delancey. Yeah, obviously. They don't have the budget. And also, Spike is voiced by Tabitha St. Germain, who voiced Rarity. Yes. That's cool. But didn't they... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't they start off with a different person? No, I think it was uh, still Tabitha when Spike first made his appearance. Really now? Because yeah. I thought it was somebody else. No, I think it was uh, still her. Uh, l- let me see if uh, the wiki page answered my question uh, about this in Pony Life. Oh god, uh, this is not really telling me anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, it does say uh, Tabitha in... Mm, wow... I'm trying to find the uh, episode that Spike first appeared. Do you remember what episode Spike appeared first? I don't remember. I know we talked about it one time. Yeah. Oh, God. You know what? I'm just going to jump ship on this. No point in um, going over it. But, yeah. So, anywho. um, Tabitha voiced Spike. And that is one of those scenarios where... It's cray cray because you have Applejack and Rainbow Dash being a couple at the end, and they're uh, and them being voiced by the same person. So it's like Ashley Ball loves herself, mm, okay. <laughs> and there's so many things being said about um, Rarity and Spike's relationship. And now since Tabitha's playing both, so she's loving herself. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh uh, goodness. But anywho, uh, final thoughts, final thoughts. Tara, what do you think? Mm, I still pretty much the same as my first impressions. Uh, they were actually pretty decent. There were a few good moments here and there, but still, like, everything's happening so fast. And, yeah, just like, I don't know, just one of those things where you watch it once but never watch it again. Oh, yeah, I totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Like, at this point, I'm thinking that this show is just trying to be mean material or something like that. Like, again, with the point where Applejack makes a reference to it was at this moment she knew she screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Like, honestly, for, as for me, I, I feel like this episode or this... Sh- yeah, this episode was okay. It was really interesting. I, I, I like the idea that... I'm trying to find a good word for the first part. I-, I like the idea where the girls want to help Pinky in some sort of form. And Twilight, noticing that she being sad and takes the opportunity to cheer her up by making her an assistant. And that is one of those scenarios where, yeah, if you know somebody and you know how a personality is like, asking them for help would make, would would cheer them up. And, oh man, the Dia's Ex Machina with the box is one of those scenarios where, what? Really? How? You don't even really read the instructions. How, How did you get an oven out of that? Yeah, exactly. And as for the second part, I didn't find Discord's voice too jarring. Like, I I knew that they couldn't hire John Delancey because, well, budget reasons. Uh, and Hasbro doesn't want to pay extra for that. 
So having uh, Peter New voice this court was pretty interesting and fascinating. Like he did a really good job. And so that's fun. And if you really think about it later on, you have Big Mac and Discord played by Peter New. And when they play Ogres and Oblietz, it's going to be interesting. But at the same time too, when you really think about it, John, uh, sorry, um, Discord's character is going to be talking a lot while Big Mac is just going to say, yep, and nope. I so I, I think it's a good compromise. All of a sudden, uh, since, you know, Pony Life's changed up a lot of things, all of a sudden it's like, oh, Big Mac started to talk a lot. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, my goodness. But anywho, but anywho, uh, with that, I, I think review's over. Yeah. yeah. So, Tara, what are we going to do for next week's episode? Oh, geez, I'm on the spotlight now. Well, then, what we're going to do next week is look at the My Little Pony IDW comic number 87 87 and 88 and oh, that's 88 yes yeah both of them it's one it's a one part uh, it's a two part uh, story and the story is the fast and the freest or we can go with the uh, other thing what Trey <laughs> oh my god oh my god I was gonna make that joke <laughs> so was I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. But anywho, yeah, that will be next week's uh, review. Uh, stick around for that because it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yes, yes. But anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsugmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, Tara, where can the good people find you? You almost said silver. <laughs> I know. It's going to take a while. <laughs> it's a force of habit. Yep, yep. But yeah, the good people can find me on Facebook, the Unar Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tortero1324. Or they can just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome. Go check him out, guys. And anyway, uh, also please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash the MBS show. With your support, you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight. Jeffrey, Master Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I am Torterra. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Miss Show. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, oh, you have it? I don't uh, know. I guess is, is that the same? Because I don't have the actual thing. I just went on the MBS show, one of our previous <laughs> recordings. <laughs> yeah, that that works. That works. <laughs> I I'll probably play it. Oh uh, yeah, I'll find a way. I'll find a way. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>